The University of San Francisco's head coach, Rex Walters, may impact a lot of young people now, but he had to learn how to along the way in his own playing career. With great success over the years, he takes time to reflect with the WCC's Amanda Blackwell about how he got here and what really matters in this life. San Francisco's Rex Walters has played for some of the greatest coaches in basketball, but his passion for the game started with his very first coach. My father was my first coach in fourth grade, fell in love with it. I think I got some of my fieriness from him. Uh, I, I, I really enjoyed it, you know. Uh, he's, he's been a great mentor for me, his passion for the game his old school Midwest values of how the game should be played. After a childhood filled with countless hours in front of a basketball hoop, Walters was recruited by Northwestern and then transferred to the University of Kansas, where he played for his next great coach, Roy Williams. I fell in love with the place because of how they played. They really shared the basketball. Coach used to always say, it's funny, I say it to our guys all the time, just do what we ask you to do. Uh, Coach Williams always talked about asking, you know, he always asked us to do certain things and, and our guys really bought into that. He sets a very high standard, so so much of what we do hopefully is a reflection of him. It was at Kansas that Walters got to experience a dream, the chance to play in a Final Four. It's the biggest stage for a college basketball player. The fanfare is great, the autographs are great, the cameras, lights but it's the moment on the court, and that, there was no substitute for that. That's one of the greatest experiences you could ever have as a basketball player, playing in a Final Four, to have a chance to play for a national championship. To be on that stage was something I'll never forget. Walters went on to play in the NBA, where his years were spent learning from more of the best in the game. Pat Riley was a tremendous influence on me. His toughness, his honesty, his organization, his passion, He's an unbelievable speaker. I'm nowhere near the motivational speaker he is, but, but he would literally have me want to run through a brick wall for him. We do have a lot of dailyisms. I only had one year with him, but a lot of the way we play ball screen, a lot of the defensive schemes that we do come from Coach Daly. After his professional career, Walters made the move to coaching, which eventually led him here to the University of San Francisco, where he has continued to grow the Dons program, leading to WCC Coach of the Year honors last season. I have so much respect for every single coach in our league and I know how hard it is to be successful in this league because every team is so well coached. That was humbling for me because I think a lot of every single one of our coaches in our league so uh, it meant a lot. While it was an award that proved Walters is heading in the right direction, he still wants to learn so much more as he follows in the footsteps of the great coaches before him. Every year I've gotten better. Every year I've learned so much more. I look forward to each day because I know each day I'm going to learn something new. i got to have an open mind. I've got to be pursuing it and looking for it. And if I do, I become a better coach and, and I think we'll become a better team because of it. I've become a more intelligent basketball player under, under Coach Walters. I mean, he's taught me certain things in the game that make me think a little bit more. He's got a great basketball mind and I think he's learned so much from the coaches that he's had in previous years when he played in the league and things like that. But. There's definitely opportunities in, in practice that where it comes out and you're just like, wow, like, I would have never thought of that. Bring it up. I'm here. Bring it up. I'm here. Walters and his team feel they have found the perfect place to continue their growth both as players and as people at the University of San Francisco. We look at what USF is about. It's about having an impact, being a servant, being a servant leader, taking advantage of all that we have in our city, at our university, uh, and then, yes, the basketball part of it. They're all intertwined here. It, it's different than other places. We go into recruiting with that, how you're going to get an unbelievable education. You're going to know your professor. Your professor's going to know you because we're such a small, intimate college, university setting. And then, yes, our history is unbelievable. It sets a very, very high standard. And I love that. I, I love that. For the WCC this week, I'm Amanda Blackwell.